One last serious question. Uh, there was a report on 60 Minutes a couple of months ago about a new test to determine whether or not one is uh, susceptible to that disease that runs I in your family. Is that something you want to know about or keep at arm's distance? Well, it's funny you mention that, see, because I developed a test of my own a few years ago to determine, you know, if you were going to die. And uh, so anybody that takes it, yes, you're going to die. You're not going to be here. People are going to be looking at you as, you, you know, as you're sort of stuck in the ground or up on the funeral pyre or something like that. They're going to play with your bones. Fish are going to, worms are going to get you and stuff. So if you can't believe that, you know, don't take any tests. If you can believe it, and realize that a hundred years from now, nobody's going to matter. It's, nobody's going to care what you thought about your test. You know, if you can, if you can deal with it with a sense of humor, do it. Now, why didn't Mike Wallace or Diane Sawyer come and ask you about it? I don't know. They don't ask me stuff like that because they think I'm a wise ass. I don't mean to be, but the truth is, I hate it. I hate all of that stuff when they show you pictures of starving kids or they show you pictures of guys that's bent this way and that way and they say we need money to solve it you know they degrade people all the time whether it's people in africa people in this country people who are sick people got heart attacks they make you feel like you're some small less than human thing that everybody else has got to take pity on yeah. and uh so i want to say right now you know i stand up for everybody who's got everything wrong with them and i'll you know, what I want to say to all these other guys, I can't say on the radio. It'll be bleeped out or something like that. But it starts with F. And, uh, <laughs> and then U. And, uh, because that's where it's at. Oh. Nobody understands. I had doctors come up to me and say, Arlo, you know, how can you be having children? How can you be married? Don't you know what your chances are? Blah, blah, blah. And look at these guys. And they don't know what life is. They don't know what it's for. How are they telling me to have kids or not to have kids? It's worth having kids even if you have them for a day or two, if you got them for a week. or so. Life is precious. And it's precious no matter how long it is, how short it is, how fat it is, how thin it is. It doesn't make any difference. It's just life. And uh, you got to love it. You got to laugh at it. And if you can't do that if people are being overly concerned about what, you know, what's happening to you and all that stuff. It's not worth thinking about. I wanted this to be a special show that touched on a whole lot of areas of your life. I think we did it. Well, good. Got nothing else to do today, right? <laughs> continued success and continued health to you, Mr. Guthrie. Absolutely. Thank you.